Hello friends, this is Reza. Welcome to channel Reza Blade if you're watching this on YouTube. And of course, welcome to Butometry or um, the International Nail Society with Butometry if you're watching it on that page. Today we're going to do an unboxing of July's My Manny Box. The theme is My Best Friend. Um, don't hesitate to put in a comment ask any questions or ask me to do something a different way if you need something you know to see something at a different angle uh, let me know I'm gonna kind of vamp while we wait for more people to join into the live I wanted to tell you the story a few of you from way back when know that um, I have a cat, it's not Gozer, I have more cats than just Gozer. I have a cat who likes to steal tiny glass things to put in rows. And I was doing my nail swatch stuff for Geeky Bee's nail polish upstairs in the room he lives in. And I was counting the bottles and counting the bottles and they kept up missing one bottle. So long. And short of it is I had to buy another bottle from Beth because that bottle never reappeared from where Artax had put it. And guess what? I found it this week. It was buried under the, um, the dresser where he has a couple of other things stashed. I thought dogs buried and stashed things. I did not think that it was cats. But anyway that that's my story about our tax so I've got my handy dandy ceramic plate here so that I can do some swatches I've got three little prepped swatch stands this is actually a really beautiful dangle foot polish uh, that was in the dinosaur box that just came out last month so this is really beautiful it has all of those reflective glitters in it so, all right, my mini box. I'm going to start this thing. I can't stand silence. So I'm going to fill this silence. Oh, there you are. Hi, Therese. Thanks for hopping on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this thing. This is always a really exciting, fun adventure. I love monthly boxes. And um, some of you know why I am not getting the maniology boxes anymore. But... Um, there's a long story there, I, I assure you. Um, and that's probably why so many of you are in this chat right now. So I did want to show you that this option is super, super fun. The plates that come in it are amazing. But let me stop talking about it without opening it. I do love that it's kind of got that, it's kind of got that um, incognito look of a box. It, you don't know by looking at the outside of the box, how awesome everything is inside. One thing you're going to get with the box, you're probably used to this if you see, if you get other boxes that are monthly subscription boxes. Um, it will tell you the plates in here. Um, Moyu London is usually what you're going to see. We have Best Friends 03 and Best Friends 04. If you have super short nails, I do believe that you can order a super short nail box. But I have, throughout multiple lengths of nails, I have found the regular length pretty cool for the, for the Moyu London plates. Also, we have a Hit the Bottle polish. We all love Hit the Bottle stamping polish. This one's called Can You Dig It? Uh, Full-size stamping polish. This normally retails for $9. I have a very exciting thing to announce that uh, in my next few videos... There, there will be a giveaway, and this polish, courtesy of Butometry, will be in the giveaway. So I'll give you the one I'm using. I'm, I'm using one um, that I have uh, previously opened, and I'm going to put this. Yeah, so uh, Therese says it's the short or XL option. So, all right, we've got pigment powders from Moira in this. Um, just a couple of different colors. Oh, yes, do please like this video if you're enjoying it. Thank you, my friends. And Butometry has a uh, sticky putty. There's a foil. It's a foil and pigment glue. It's a really good one. 
Um, it's actually the first one I've had that work on a number of different things. So I'm going to get to show you that too. So stop, I'm going to stop talking now about what's in the box. And every time I do, I'm going to release a uh, review of this box. It's not the unboxing, just the full review. I'll do what I normally do. I'll give you a bunch of ideas for, you know, inspiration, um, how you can use these stamping plates and these polishes. We have a cute little, I miss my puppies. I used to have three dogs and they are not mine anymore, but I will wear this in their memory today. All right, fun, fun, fun. What do I open first? Okay, I have to open the pink thing first because it's calling to me. This is probably one of the pigment powders from Moira. I like that they're in these little bags. Always thought that I'd be a witch for Halloween someday and I'd save all my little bags for my pseudo spell components. That'd be a fun idea for Halloween. All right, now you're always going to want to be because I'm super clumsy, right? So I have tips. Um, you're going to want to always open this on a flat surface. Hence, I'm moving this guy out of the way. Why don't I wait to m mess around with them until I've opened them all? So that I can kind of show you what they do all at once. This looks like another powder. If you're liking what I've got on my left hand, it is part of the graceful new releases. Um, there is a topic. What's the topic? Uh, oh, the ton. It's Bridgerton nails. This is Lady Kate. I think that just came out today. Anyway, so let's see. Yeah, I'm going to wait to open that too because I will not tempt fate. Here is our beloved sticky putty. So this is, of course, nicely protected. Oh, this is perfect for my Halloween thing. I've got to be a witch this year. Look at this bag. This is perfect. It's like a sign. All right. So I keep scissors because I have trouble opening things. So it looks like there's not a lot of putty here, but I promise you this will last you like forever. I wonder if people like the sound of this as much as they like the sound of uh, peel porn when people peel off the uh, plates, the blue stuff on the plates. Anyway, so this is the sticky putty. The clue about this, this is the secret, is you apply it sparingly and you wait until it turns clear before you stick anything down. This is very helpful. Mm -hmm. I, I used to have a clear um, nail glue and that was not helpful for me because I could never tell when it opened up. I mean, when it dried up. All right. I'm going to put this aside because it does take up some room. Boom. All right. It's going to be exciting here. I'm going to get into a polish from the feel of it. Does it, does it count as cheating on an unboxing if you use scissors to help you? I hope it doesn't. These are all very well packaged. This is this is not Teresa's first rodeo. This uh, box has been along, around for at least four years. I know I reviewed a couple of these four years ago, and they are always just tip-top product. Everything is all wrapped nicely. It, you can tell by this particular paper um, that it is a hit-the-bottle product. She's very specific, Michelle is, about the way that she protects her polish when they get sent out for, from the shop. So we won't just have this paper protecting it. There's also a, a secret. Oh, well, maybe no secret today. Normally there's a little bit of hot glue at the base, but it still arrived intact. And it says, can you dig it? And I'm going to pull out the one I have so that I can leave this perfect so that someone can get it in a giveaway soon. I love giveaways. It's like my favorite thing. All right. Here's my can you get it. He, uh, bleh, bleh. Speak English, Reza. Here is my can you dig it. All right. So 
I'm going to get rid of this. Bleep, bloop, blorp. Oh, Therese says uh, they just celebrated four years of the My Manny Box. This is super exciting. My favorite thing about the My Manny Box is that it has Moyu London plates. I do love all sorts of brands of plates, especially Hit the Bottle and some other ones that we've heard a lot about. Um, by the way, uh, the next video coming up from me is gonna still going to be that long nail stamping for long nails. It's coming, I promise, very soon. It's going to be two videos, though. You know how I work. I, I put a lot of information in my videos. All right, so we have best friends. Ooh, I can see which one I'm gonna prefer. So this one is best friends 04. We have some modern uh, abstract kind of blobs and shapes and lines. We have happy day, we have some flowers, and then we have some Picasso-esque kind of drawings of the dogs, the line drawings in abstract. Very fun, best friend, little leaf here. I think this is indeed one of the kinds of plates I call multitaskers. Uh, this is a great plate and I am gonna set this aside. Okay, I'm gonna throw it. Here we go again. This one is best friends 03. This is very my neck of the woods. This is right up my alley. So I'm probably going to play with this one if I can decide what I'm going to do. All right, let's, you can see the kind of a vintage look that's on that. Come on. Okay, listen, everybody who loves to hear this. Und? Numero two. There we go. That was nice and fast. If you sign up for the box now, I think you'll get the Yo Ho Ho box. Is that right, Teresa? I'm going to wait for Teresa to weigh in on that because I am not in charge and I do not want to tell you wrong things. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is see how this powder goes. If I'm gonna use it on my stamper, always use it on a, yeah, it's gonna be the Tuck Like a Pirate box, Jennifer. I'm very excited about that one. I have no idea what's in it. All she said was pirates and I was like, okay, set sail. Oh my goodness, where is my little, I need, I need an eyeshadow pad thingy. So we don't have one handy over here. Oh well, that's what fingers are for. Uh, Jennifer, I think those plates, the, the best friend plates are indeed on, oh my goodness, I just lost. I just lost a nail. I'm just going to keep going. All right. So the first thing I told you about these was to keep them flat. And what did I do? I did not do what I was supposed to do. All right. So what I'm going to do is put this on the stamper. A little eyeshadow wedge is probably a better idea, but I can't find mine. I have so many of them. And then, this is fun. You're gonna go. We want to stamp these things when flat. Let's go to this little cute guy here, okay? We're gonna grab a scraper. See if it works. Probably would have worked better on my fingernails I have set out because that's too small to see. I don't know if you can see his face. Anyway, that would have worked better if I had done it on my fingernail. And why not? I can now, can't I? 
So let me get some acetone. I want to use the vintagey ones on the nail nails I have set aside. All right. I probably put way too much uh, powder, to be honest, on that thing. I want to see if there is a Boston on here. This looks like a Basenji to me. That's close enough. No, it did not pick up right. No, I have way too much powder on here. I'll have a separate video that will deal with, uh, this is what you will probably love about my videos. I always show you how not to do it. Look at what I did. That is so much powder, guys. This is not what you do. Anyway, it's a beautiful, vibrant powder, though. If you're going to use a powder, you definitely want to make sure that you use a water based top coat. The one I use is by Hit the Bottle. It's called Watertight. Look at me. I've made a mess with my... This is, and this is so generous as far as this portion of pigment. I've done something to it. I'm gonna put this aside. So I'm gonna try this a different way. If I find my um, my wedge, I don't know where my eyeshadow wedges are. Yeah, the Best Friends collection is, is on the site now. I told myself, put it on the table before you open it. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. Let's try with black. And that's the last thing we'll do before I start actually stamping on those samples. Oh. Silliness. This is something I might usually use more over a base color, but whatever. It worked. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but it's in, in real life, it's super shimmery. It's like the reflective stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> Cherie said the black container is the reflective pigment. Yes, but it did it did show up, so I'm extremely happy about that. Now I'm going to get these away because I will spill them if I do not. The other thing I do with these is I always misthread them when I close them. And then I have to call people to come over to help me open them. All right, so let's get to my favorite plate of the two. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Like I have to use the toddler rolls. I have to clean up my toys before I can take out a new toy because otherwise the room is awful at the end of the day and mom doesn't want to deal with that. It's not mom's job. Everything's mom's job, kind of, but that's not how it's supposed to be. My poor sisters. I have a sister with seven or eight kids. Don't ask me why I don't remember whether it's seven or eight. It's not my fault. We have, I have like 12 nieces and nephews total. And I don't get out of the house much. All right, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some fun here with this Doberman. I love I love these framed pictures here, like kind of a best in show, kind of where you would frame your dog and keep it in your hallway. Of course, there's a dachshund. I used to have several dachshunds. 
And I do like the uh, flower too. I have a plan for that as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use, why don't we use the brown? Because brown and blue go together. So I'm gonna use Can You Dig It? And I'm going to skip. I'm going to remove the extra. I'm loving that. Okay, normally I would fill this in with the reverse stamp. But I just don't have the time today. I'm trying to kind of give you a, just a general idea of what you can do with these plates. So now that I have my Doberman down, let me, can I, I need more light though. Oh well. Someday I'll figure out how to light this better during lives. It looks fine when I'm recording a real video. All right, so now that we've got the Doberman down, Doberman down I'm going to take the white. No, why don't I take a different color? Blue and brown and somebody give me a color. I have my Hit the Bottle collection right to my left so I can get any color. Blue and brown and... And light blue. We'll do blueberry. Which is like my favorite blue. Oh, you said pink. Okay, pink. Let's do pink and blue. Actually, I don't know if I have any. Oh, yes, I do. I do. It's not, it's a purpley pink. Oh, no, you're right. First, put down the blue on one side. Look at that. I love, with some of these Moyu London plates that they've been doing lately, these beautiful little flowers are just adding so much to the plate. All right, I'm holding it there because I don't wanna, wasn't sure how long I had um, left it. After I picked it up from the plate, you don't, you want all of that stuff to go real fast. So luckily I had done it just fine. This black glove is made of latex, hence it protects my fingers from acetone. In case you were wondering, all right. Now I'm going to do my fancy one in Teresa's pink. And that's going to be on the other side. Now, of course, this is just a 30 second makeover for this nail. You can, you can reverse stamp these guys. You can do anything you want. I love this plate. One might say I can't even with this plate. I love it so much. All right, here we go. I hope you're all able to see this. So I think I might want one more flower. Tell me what you all think about that. I don't know, maybe it was a terrible idea. It was just an idea I had. And you can reverse stamp that uh, portrait so that you can do you can have a different background color in it than the blue let's try another one I guess let me get some now as much as I want to do more with this plate I am aware that there are two plates in this and abstract art is super popular so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the brown again. Which of these little puppies should I use? Well, they all look 
very strange, don't they? I still like that guy. This puppy. Oh, I want the puppies who are very loving each other. I don't know if that's mommies or litter mates or what. Oh, but I don't have very wide fingernails to do it on. Darn it. I think he's pretty cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think he's pretty cute. All right. So, I probably should have chosen a better background. You know what? I am going to go grab my... Here. I'm going to use my... I love using the ceramic thing when I don't have a nail set up that I really want to work with. Why did I grab the pink? You would have—you almost had a pink dog outline, which would have been fine, but not what I had in mind. All right, can you see this? Is it in frame? No, it's not. Ah! He's puppy. I made a puppy for you. What should our puppy say? There are best friend, there's happy day. That puppy looks happy. Maybe it's happy day. And what else do we have? Well, these are very long. Home is where my dog is. Um, and we don't have my reading glasses on. Dogs leave paw prints of our hearts. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna cry. That's a, that's not right. Okay, maybe it's okay if I cry. Um, I'm gonna grab this blue since I've got it out already, and I'm gonna give him a flower. I do have to stop to get the extra bits off of my stamper. I am fastidious like that. There we go. And then I'm going to put those words after I... Oh, I need a new one. I have to grab a new little thingy. Cotton bad. I'm sorry. I have issues with words sometimes. There we go. And now we get a saying. We get an aphorism. And I'm going to choose the one that almost made me cry. I'm going to do a different blue, though, because there are so many beautiful colors that... Uh, hit the bottle has. And what you're hearing is, oh, I just took another nail off. What you're hearing is just absolutely a lot of polishes. So this one is called Davy, nope, Navy Jones Locker. I use this one. Maybe it's my top three of how often I use these. So we get the dog leaves heart thing. And I'm going to very, very, this is going to dry really quickly because it's very tiny. So we're having a race to see if I can. Whoops. All right. Hopefully you can tell I made it, but did I make it in time? Here's the test. I made it in time. Hooray. And all my nails are off. <laughs> this is so fun. So here is my not quite a nail. I hope you like that one. I really like brown with blue and pink and violet too. Just a lot of good options when it comes to brown. And I mean, there couldn't be a better color for this particular, um, this particular plate. Now, uh, if you do shop at Butometry for your Hit the Bottle, remember that there are the extra large sizes of the Hit the Bottle basic colors. Um, 
I have some announcements before I head off, okay? Um, for this, the Talk Like a Pirate box, there's only four boxes left, so get over there, get your box, make sure you get it, um, because they are going. And uh, if you're watching YouTube, if you're watching this video on YouTube, my link will be in the description box below, as usual all the links for all of those things and don't forget to look out for my giveaway uh which will be in a couple of different videos uh, after the next couple of videos having a giveaway uh, we've got some paradise plates coming up as well as this beautiful new brown polish stamping polish from hit the bottle uh, all courtesy of butometry so thank you teresa everybody say thank you to teresa monthly challenges in the international nail society with butometry group are a thing now. August's challenge is the dog days of summer. More info on that in the group. Go ahead and, as and ask to be into the group and Therese will let you in as soon as she is able to. Um, and then each month the most active group member gets a $15 gift card. It's like a contest. Who, you know, who posts the most manis? So that sounds exciting, and I certainly want to have a good shot at it. I'm going to try to post all sorts of manis. Anyway, uh, when you post manis on the group, though, do make sure, please, to put what you used, because we all want the, the things. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. I hope you liked uh, this video, and if you liked it at all, uh, I bet you'll like my other videos quite a bit more. Um, I think that's all. Is that all, Teresa? Oh, look, there is a link here, I think. I think that's a link. Anyway, <laughs> I I have to go do, I have to go put more nails on. <laughs> so uh, I hope you all had fun with me today. Um, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.